WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, everyone. This is Jacob Sheep filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. I hope you all had a great day. Uh, we have the E-mini trading up about 0.31% right now. SPY roughly the same. Uh, with those Russell futures off about 0.62%. The NQ's flat, the composite flat. Those Dow futures up about 0.56%. And roughly the same with Dow Jones Industrial up about 0.6%. We cracked the 40,000. So that's some good sign, right? And this chart looked a little bit different than all the other ones, which is pretty nice, right? I mean, it's some, at least on the daily. Um, you didn't have as much volatility all day. And I hate when it does this. Um, regardless, you didn't have as much volatility uh, today in the Dow Jones, which was kind of nice. Yeah, the gold contract uh, trading off of that high we had recently, which is 2519, uh, trading right now at 2485, silver at 2757. And then we have copper hanging right there at 404. You have crude oil at 7717. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. Tesla off about 3%. Steel Dynamics off about 1.89%. And then Disney up 072 Let's see where Google ended for the day. After some relatively rough news, trading down 2.38%. Some decent volume on the last few ticks there. Let's talk a little bit. We were, you know, discussing this idea of, you know, how much... Uh, how much activity you can see if you just drop the interest rate a little bit, even on this kind of news and some movement uh, down uh, with some of the bonds here. The mortgage refinancing is surging 35% in one week as interest rates hit lowest level in a year. Now, this is on the 30 fixed year rate. Talk a little bit about this. Um, the average contract interest rate for the 30-year fixed mortgage with conforming loan balances fell slightly to 6.54% uh, from 6.55. So any Underlying change, I think, in the primary, you know, Fed fund rate. Um, I, I think there's a lot of demand uh, for people to buy and um, also to sell too. So they want it to come down, prices go up. Obviously, demand pushes that uh, price a little bit higher as well. And I think we're treading in pretty interesting territory uh, going forward. I think it'll be kind of interesting uh, to read. On some similar news with that, you actually had JP Morgan having a new type of mortgage credit risk transfer. So on the variable rates, uh, they're basically putting that in a completely different vehicle and they're gonna be able to lend themselves with it. It's a different entity entirely. Uh, kind of neat. I can post that if you guys want me to. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We'll be back tomorrow with Tommy O'Brien in the morning market kickoff at 9 a.m. Have a great rest of your day.